to meditate, you don't to believe in anything. Meditation was discovered in ancient India. This is true. Nobody can deny it. But it belongs to everybody. Meditation is not understood properly. That's why it is called or is termed religious. But this has nothing to do with any Christianity or any Muslim or Hindu religion. For example, we go study in a university, we study physics, we study chemistry, we study history. Do you think only Christians will study it or Hindus will study it? It's a school, it's a science. Everybody is welcome to study. Same thing is true with meditation. Meditation gives you peace of mind. Whether you are a believer in God or not a believer in God, what difference does it make? Don't you think the one who doesn't believe in God needs peace of mind? Everybody needs peace of mind. A child, an old man, a woman, a man, a good man, bad man, low man, high man, everybody needs peace of mind. So central part of meditation is the peace of mind. And that's why it is very important for our humanity to realize because everywhere what you find is terrorism. Tensions, worries, wars, conflicts, depression. What do they show? With all this progress of science and technology, what we get is restlessness, tensions. How are you going to overcome that? To overcome that, you need peace of mind. And to have peace of mind, you want to experience Supreme silence, not the silence of not talking. Still your mind would be chattering. What you need is the silence where there is no thought. Completely thoughtless. And that is the profound peace. And that's what we are really seeking. But we always not get it. So intellectually, if you can understand it, we can probably get interested into it. But if we don't understand it, if we don't have a map, how are we going to drive around? Map doesn't mean that you have arrived somewhere, but map does help you. It shows you where to drive around so you are not lost. So understanding of meditation is important, but you have to practice it. Just like to learn swimming, you have to get into water. This is so easy. If sleep is natural, why is meditation not natural? Meditation is just a deeper sleep. So we should be able to get it. The reason we don't get it, I think, is because our mind is not pure. The mind has impurities of anger, lust, hatred, jealousy, greed, and pride. If we can remove this dust from the mirror, the mirror will shine. We will be able to see. The mirror will be able to reflect. Right now, our soul, our spirit is not reflected on our mind, because mind is not pure. Once our mind is pure, we'll be able to see our spirit. And then, with that experience, we'll be able to spread our bliss, which is our inner nature. The spirit means the consciousness, the bliss, and eternal. 
existence. This is what our inner nature is. So our question should be, who am I really? Where do I come from? Where will I go to? And why am I here on this earth?